Hello, my name is Shelley Appleton. If you've got a difficult horse, I want you to watch this because I want you to know about equine congenital vertebrae malformation, also known as C6, C7 malformation, because it affects the base vertebrae of the neck, cervical vertebrae 6 and 7. It's been well documented by horse anatomy expert Sharon May Davis. And this malformation is inherited and therefore it's present at birth and there's no cure for it. It creates biomechanical and neurological issues because the malformation means that anchor points for key muscles can be missing and the canal that holds the spinal cord can be impacted. It's been traced back to certain thoroughbred lines, but it's now been found in thoroughbred cross, warm blood, quarter horses, Arabs and Australian stock horses. So lots of breeds are affected. It can cause arthritis and therefore pain. It can contribute to neurological conditions such as wobbler syndrome. The missing insertion points for muscles can lead to other neurological problems, proprioception and respiratory issues. It therefore creates pain. It can create a lack of stability that have far reaching consequences for both the horse and of course safety issues for the rider. But there's a problem. It can only be identified on autopsy or x-ray, but it's very difficult for normal radiographs to penetrate deep enough to image C7. And it is very insidious. And that's why I want to tell you about the story of beautiful socks. Socks is owned by my very good friend, Katrin Kulster. Socks was a six year old warm blood mare. She was beautiful and athletic and she was very sweet. However, she was very slow to progress in her training. The initial problems were a lack of forward. She just wouldn't go forward. She was labeled lazy. She also had trouble floating. She didn't like getting on the float. And progressively over time, she became more and more aggressive and difficult to handle. And her lack of forward under saddle was just a big problem. So after taking her in for training to deal with this um, increasing aggression that she was um, expressing on the ground, I found that I could reduce the frequency of the aggression, but I could not get this athletic looking young horse to consistently move freely and willingly forward. Just getting her responding to forward required me to regularly remind her with the whip. This showed something was interfering with her learning and performing. So I referred Socks to the vet. Socks was diagnosed with C6, C7 malformation and because of the particular malformation, she had terrible arthritis in her neck. So she was in pain and a steroid injection into her neck only provided relief for a very short period of time and the aggression returned. Therefore, the very sad decision was made to put Socks down um, and she was autopsied by Sharon May Davis in one of her dissections. So Socks actually exists as one of the most significant cases of C6, C7 malformation and other hereditary deformities that Sharon has ever dissected. She not only did she have arthritis, but she had spinal impingement as well. The footage you're about to see is of Socks. And this is a horse with chronic pain in the neck from arthritis and neurological impaired in her movement and proprioception. She couldn't move forward properly because she couldn't feel her legs properly and she was in terrible pain. So therefore, this footage I'm about to show you is of a seriously unsound, unstable and a horse suffering from chronic pain. So here is Socks. This is Socks seriously unsound. This is Socks seriously in pain. This is Socks with not just one but two impingements on a spine. So this horse had trouble knowing where its legs were. But I want you to see this horse does not necessarily look lame at first glance. You actually think she's actually going around quite relaxed like a little lopy canter. Okay, but this is a horse in serious trouble. This is a horse that's unstable on its feet. This is a horse that didn't like going on the float because horses don't like instability and when you already feel unstable, you know, the float is, is not a good place to be. This is the horse that's still showing bold aggression. This is the horse that's doing like a dinky little canner, even though I'm getting after her with a whip every now and then. Like, look at that. 
okay this is a this is an athletic warm blood that is just not moving forward and showing signs of aggression so I never want you to forget this footage this footage here is of a seriously unsound horse with arthritis in its neck serious arthritis in its neck spinal impingements feeling unstable in chronic pain yet yeah? does it look lame no so never ever ever just assume that because your horse isn't limping doesn't mean it's not unsound and does not mean it doesn't suffer from this very insidious condition. This was a beautiful sweet man that only got upset when you asked her to do things because she was in chronic terrible pain and you know and just couldn't really feel her legs or know where to put her legs. So please never forget socks. I want the world to hear the story of socks. They need to see this video and see how serious unsoundness does not actually look lame. She was missed by many vets. Many experts had seen socks and they all just diagnosed her as being young and needing to develop strength. So please, if your horse is difficult, has behavioural issues, is not progressing or learning or being inconsistent, please consider investigations into this insidious condition. Please share Sock's story so people can see this footage to see that this horse didn't actually look very lame, but she actually had telltale signs of actually being very unsound. And it was due to her poor learning and her poor progression and needing to use a whip and her behaviour and her aggression. You can read the full story of Socks and Katrin, written by Katrin, in the blog in the description of this video and please visit Katrin's website katrincoulsner.com.au. Thank you.